Grade 4 math, number 118, time and elapsed time. Elapsed time means time that has gone by or passed. Remember, each number on a clock represents an hour with the shorthand and five minutes with the long hand. Okay? And each time it goes around, each time the minute hand goes around, it makes the hour hand move one number, right? All right. Emma and Tala raked leaves for one hour and 30 minutes. When they finished, it was 3.30. See, this is 3.30. What time did they start? So we need to go back one hour and 30 minutes. So imagine turning the minute hand backwards, counterclockwise, all right? If we turned it around one time, it, instead of 3.30, it would be 2.30. Now we need to go back another 30 minutes, and then that would put it from 2.30 to 2 o'clock. This is what it would look like on a number line. They finished at 3.30, we go back an hour to 2.30, and then back another 30 minutes to 2 o'clock. See? So they started raking at 2 o'clock. We have to remember that because that's going to help us for the next part of it. <clears throat> they started raking at 2 o'clock, okay? Emma finished eating her lunch 45 minutes before she started raking. All right, she finished eating her lunch 45 minutes before she started raking the leaves because she needed to get the rake and the bag. She needed to find Tala and get ready. So it took 45 minutes between lunch and starting to rake leaves. So what time did she finish eating lunch? So we need to go back 45 minutes from the 2 o'clock. Okay, so she started raking the leaves at 2 o'clock. We need to go back 30 minutes, and then count by fives to 45. So from 2 o'clock, if we jump 30 minutes, it would be 1.30. Now we need to count back by fives until we get to 45. So the first jump is 30 minutes, and now we count by fives. 30, 35, 40, 45. And it puts us right here, okay? So what time is that? It's in between 1 o'clock and 1.30, right in the middle. Well, each increment is 5 minutes, so this is 1 o'clock, 105, 110, 115. So we know that Emma finished eating lunch at 115 p.m., okay? If she spent 30 minutes eating her lunch, what time did she start lunch? Well, that's when she finished at 115. So she started eating that her lunch 30 minutes before this time, okay? She finished eating lunch at 1.15, so we're going to start there and count back by fives to 30 minutes, okay? So, 30 minutes back, counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It puts us right here. What time is that? 12 o'clock, 12.30, 12.35, So we know she started eating at 12.45, she finished at 1.15 and started raking at 2 o'clock. See? We know her whole day for the schedule, don't we? She started eating her lunch at 12.45 p.m., okay? So now let's go the other way. Let's go forward, all right? A train left Main Street Station at 4.15 p.m. See? 4.15 p.m. It stopped at Elm Street Station at 4.50 p.m. How many minutes did it take to get to Elm Street Station? Well, the first thing we do is locate and mark 4.50 p.m. It's at 4.15, 4.20, 4.25, 4.30, 35, 40, 45. The minute hand would be pointing here. Okay? So that is where we need to count to. All right? So now we're going to count by fives until we get to that mark. All right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we know it was 35 minutes between Main Street Station and Elm Street Station. See that? If it left Elm Street Station at 4.55, see it took 5 minutes for the people to get on and off the train. So at 4.55, it left Elm Street Station and arrived at Maple Avenue at 532. 
how many minutes passed between Elm Street and Maple Avenue. So now what we need to do is start at 455 and end at 532. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And we're going to start at 455. So the hour hand is going to almost be at the 5 because 455 is really close to being 5 o'clock and the hour hand is just about to move to the 5. All right. So now it's 4.55, and it arrived at Maple Avenue Station at 5.32. So we need to locate 5.32 on the clock, all right? When the minute hand gets here, it'll be 5 o'clock. When it gets all the way down to here, the minute hand, it'll be 5.30. And we know that there's little increments in between here, right? So if that's 5.30, 5.31, 5.32. So we're going to count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and then we're going to count by ones, 36, 37. So we know it was 37 minutes in between Elm Street Station and Maple Avenue. So do you see how we marked where it was? We knew we had to get to here. We marked where we're starting, and then we counted by fives, and then when we got close and couldn't count by fives anymore, we counted by ones. See? So we can go forward and count elapsed time on a clock, or we could go backwards and count elapsed time on a clock. Just remember your increments of five. Remember there's 60 minutes in an hour, and that in between each number for the minute hand is five minutes, and you can count by fives. Okay? I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Keep trying hard. Bye.